How to make your sayings sure. Part 1. We shall devote the next two devotionals to exploring a topic on how to make your sayings and utterances sure, backed with the seal of heaven. Then Elijah said to Ahab, Go up, eat and drink, for there is the sound of abundance of rain. So Ahab went up to eat and drink. And Elijah went up to the top of Carmel, then he bowed down on the ground, and put his face between his knees. 1 Kings chapter 18 verses 41 to 42. The test of a prophecy is its accomplishment. Talk is cheap, anyone can say, Thus saith the Lord, or mouth any such sweet to hear words to his or her listeners and receive a chorus of Amen, without anything to show for it afterwards. When prophecies are released without commensurable performance, the prophet's credibility is called to question and with each unfulfilled prophecy goes his, her popularity and, possibly, following. Meanwhile, every individual, particularly someone in Christ, has the power to decree what he, she wants to be into his, her own life or that of another and expect a performance. After all, the tongue has the power of life and death, as well as the power to create and to destroy. There are two ways to ensure that your professions and decrees are not just empty words that fall into thin air with no effect, but are words of substance which accomplish the objective for which they are sent forth. The first way to make your profession effective is to ensure that such affirmations are in line with the will or counsel of God concerning you or the person you are saying them to. Nothing makes one a liar faster than mouthing things that are contrary to the will of God. In the same vein, your words are as watery to the extent that they express your whims and not the counsel of God. If God doesn't will it, it won't come to pass. And if it is not his counsel, it will have no effect. You will succeed in Jesus' name. Get more insights on our website, www.daily-jew.com.